you know, it, really the salinity is, it's a symptom of the issue, which is actually water use. And I think you did a pretty good job of talking about that, how you, you can't just put that area that's, that's got the white on the surface and is obviously saline. You have to take in probably more, uh, more acres within there to actually use enough water to, to make a difference. Um, so you talked a little bit about perennial use. Um, have you tried using on some of those areas where it's maybe not, the salinity isn't severe enough where you can't get a cover crop to germinate? Have any of you tried to do cover crops in those saline areas to kind of help remediate or bring those salts back down? I've noticed too, you know, you talk species selection, you know, barley, things like that has worked well in the salt areas. I've used that on my own place. Um, I primarily graze my cover crops, but you know, not grazing those, letting those areas, you know, um, decompose or you know just fall over and not graze it off so you don't remove all that residue and open up any bare ground definitely helps with some of the salts you know perennial vegetation is by far the best option though keeping a live root in that soil utilizing moisture even though the plant's not growing much in April you're still utilizing moisture still putting roots down the root mass is is growing yeah it's just, and it's hard in general to get species to establish in those salt areas it might be two three years before we get a decent stand out there of perennial vegetation so back to that barley that's kind of a plan we've got put together for this year is to do some barley with a little bit of tillage radish in it um, on some of our end rows that we're having issues with getting anything off of and we're going to Put the barley in with the tillage radish and whatever comes we'll maybe we'll harvest a little bit so we got some seed for the next year and then we'll probably go into it with rye for for the next year just take take it out of the cropping season for a couple years there because we're not getting anything off of it right now and try to try to see what we can do with it off of using the cover crops the winter rye is what you're planning yeah yep if you can let that winter rye grow in spring the root growth is what will help there. I mean, we've done digs where we've had winter, winter rye that's three and four foot tall. The roots are down there three plus foot. I mean, deeper than anyone's ripper is gonna go. Um, it's, it, is, it is a natural ripper.